guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kaya and today's video is going to be how to make thick smoothie bowls. So, starting off, um, I have a Vitamix blender. Um, this is, my mom got it a few months ago and so we've been testing out how to make thicker, creamier smoothies. Um, I've never used a different blender before, but this is just what we use. So starting off, I always start off with liquid in the blender. Today I'm using milk, but sometimes I do use like orange juice or apple juice or something. So it's just based on your personal preference. It does not differ the um, results that you get. So starting off in the blender, I just fill it so it barely passes the blade. And then after I put in the milk, I use a whole banana, and this one is fresh. Um, sometimes I use frozen, but once again, it really won't matter, and I just split it in half. And a key to getting that perfect swirl is making sure that you have enough in your blender. Um, for me, it's usually about halfway the like blended mixture has to be to get that swirl. Otherwise, it's not like the same. And then I'm just gonna add about half of a cup or half a handful of pineapple. And then I'm going to add about a cup to a cup and a half of mango. And then I add about three strawberries and these are like pretty big. But like, you can literally add whatever you want. You just have to have enough frozen fruit in the blender for it to make that thick consistency. But this is just my favorite smoothie. And then last, I add a couple of these cherries. In total, this is about three cups of frozen fruit and then the whole banana and you can always add more if it's not the right texture so i always use this um supposedly it's called a tamper tool but i just call it the smasher and i always keep it in the top of the blender as it's blending and then i'm gonna mute this part once i turn the blender on but i start on one and then i stop it once it stops blending <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and show you, it's already starting to get that swirl. So, I'm gonna show you. so this is what it looks like so far. That's just blending for like five to 10 seconds on this first speed. All right, and then I'm going to start it on the first speed and then um, push it up to the second. up to the third speed. And then um, if it's not like swirling, I just open the lid and use this tool and smash all the way to the bottom. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add more um, mango. Okay, so I just added some more mango to hopefully make it thicker. And then starting off with the one speed again. <laughs> Okay, and then 
this is the final product of what it should start to look like. And here's what the consistency will look like. It should kind of scoop like ice cream. And it, there are gonna be like, because I put cherries in it, um, those like specks of the cherry skin. But depending on what fruit you use, you won't always have those. what it's looking like um when you put them into glass bowls or anything it will like start to melt almost immediately all right guys so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope this helped you get the thick smoothies that you are desiring if you have any questions just leave a comment below and if you'd like to see this done with a um less expensive blender then like this video and i'll see you guys in my next video bye